This video will show you how to apply burn severity mapping in Google Earth Engine. We will first show three different ways to specify your location. You can upload and convert an Esri shapefile to your assets. From the New drop down menu, click Table Upload and navigate to your shapefile. Make sure to also select all associated files. After confirming the upload, your progress will be displayed under Tasks. When the upload is completed, import the table and change its name to Geometry. You can use boundaries already incorporated in Google Earth Engine. So far, these only include entire countries. Copy this line from the video description and paste it somewhere at the beginning of the script, for example in line 28. The first part imports the feature collection, including all countries. The second part filters the collection by FIPS country code. This example fetches the boundary for Costa Rica. If you want to select your study area by hand, zoom to a point on the map and enable the polygon tool. Draw the boundary with left clicks. Double-clicking finishes the geometry. To map burn severity of a specific incident, you need to set a fitting time frame. You can specify two time windows for satellite imagery to be collected. One covers the time before, the other one the time after the fire. Both time windows should be long enough for Landsat 8 to acquire some imagery, but short enough so vegetation in the area does not change too much. You can now let Google Earth Engine run the script. Make sure your polygon is called Geometry. While the process is running, hide your geometry overlay. Data layers used in the process are displayed in the map pane. They include imagery from before and after the fire, cloud-free composites and the difference in normalized burn ratio, grayscale or classified. If you use this recommended practice for the first time, you can explore our demo analysis. Remove the comment symbol in line 19 to activate the geometry. Click the Run button at the top to start the analysis. Satellite images and data products will be plotted to the map. You can turn layers on and off easily. The opacity slider enables a smooth transition between two layers. You can for example compare imagery before and after applying the cloud mask. Or explore differences in the landscape before and after the fire. Burned areas are easy to detect in true color images. The grayscale image shows the difference in normalized burn ratio from before and after the fire. Dark areas were affected more severely than bright areas. The classified version of this result gives you a more intuitive picture of burn severity hotspots. In the console on the right, you will find some useful additional information on data and results. An image collection, for example, has multiple images, which again consist of several bands. At the bottom, you will find a basic spatial statistic on each burn severity class. You can finally find your result ready for download under Tasks. Select your Google Drive folder and export the raster file.